morning everyone so in today's class we will see the special cases to solve the second rule differential equation so we know that we haven't yet studied how to solve a second rule differential equation it means that there are some second order differential equations which can be easily reduced to first order differential equation and then we know how to solve the first order differential equation for an example let us consider we need to solve x y double dash minus y dash is equal to 3x square so we need to see that can it be reduced to first order differential equation please do try it by yourself so here if i assume y dash is equal to p then my y double dash is equal to p dash where p dash is dp by dx therefore the equation 1 becomes x p dash minus p is equal to 3x square which is a first order differential equation in p so this can be written as dp by dx minus p by x is equal to 3x which is a linear differential equation in p now we know that how to solve the linear differential equation so you must compute mu which is e raised to the power p dx this p and this p are different so to avoid the confusion we can say let's say e raised to the power capital p dx where capital p is minus 1 by x so it implies mu is equal to integration minus 1 by x dx which comes out to be 1 by x so now the solution of this differential equation is 1 by x p and integration 1 by x then qx which is 3x dx plus c which is 3x square or which is 3x plus c which means that my p is 3x square plus cx now p is dy by dx it means i again integrate it to have so dp by dx is equal to 3x square plus cx sorry dy by dx implies if i integrate both the sides then this gives me x cube plus c x square by 2 plus c1 which is my required answer so it means that the second order differential equation looks like f of x comma y comma y dash comma y double dash is equal to 0 but we'll see two special cases can you generalize what is the first special case so the first special case if you see the y is missing here the term y there is no function of y and which means that the dependent variable missing which means we have a second order differential equation of the form f of x comma y dash comma y double dash is equal to zero and to solve it we simply need to substitute y dash is equal to p and y double dash is equal to p dash which reduces the second order differential equation into a first order differential equation and then using the techniques which we have studied we can solve now if you see this question y y double dash minus y dash square is equal to zero again it is a second order differential equation but now you have a term of y but at the same time you can see that the independent variable is missing to solve such equation we assume y dash is equal to p and implies y double dash is equal to dp by dx but if i substitute y double dash as p dash the equation becomes y p dash minus p square is equal to 0 which is not easy to solve so instead of this one i write dp by dx as dp by dy multiplied by dy by dx which is p dp by dy and now if i substitute the values then this becomes py 
डी पी बाई डी वाई माइनस पी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दे आर टू वेरिएबल्स पी एंड वाई सो दिस लुक्स लाइक वाई डी पी बाई डी सॉरी डी पी बाई डी वाई माइनस पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर इफ पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो आई विल गेट ए ट्रीवियल सोल्यूशन बिकॉज पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो बट आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन नॉन ट्रीवियल सोल्यूशन दे आर फॉर आई राइट इट लाइक दिस एंड नाउ यू कैन ईज दिस बिकम्स अ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड टू सॉल्व इट यू कैन ईजीली सी दैट इट इज अ वेरिएबल सेपरेबल फॉर्म so you have dp by dp is equal to dy by dy which means that log p minus log y is equal to log c if i write it on the right hand side log c it is more easy to solve it further otherwise i may get stuck so this gives you p is equal to y c and what is p it is dy by dx is equal to y c if i integrate it again i have to again use the variable separable form so dy by dy is equal to c dx that gives me log y is equal to cx plus c1 i can leave it here or i can write it in the form of the exponential function so you can see that the other case is the first case was dependent variable missing the other case was independent variable missing where we have a second order differential equation of the form g of y y dash and y double dash to solve it i simply considered y dash is equal to p and y double dash is equal to dp by dx which can be written as p dp by dy now we can do some quick exercises so the first one is x square y double dash is equal to 2 xy dash plus y dash square yes so it's a second order differential equation i have to simply see either dependent variable missing or independent variable missing yes so you can see that y is not here and therefore to solve it i take y dash is equal to p that implies y double dash is equal to p dash and the given differential equation becomes x square p dash is equal to 2 xp plus p square or i can write it as dp by dx minus 2 by xp is equal to p square by x square now it is a first order differential equation recall that how you can solve it any idea so think over it and you may realize that it is actually a bernoulli differential equation so this can be written as 1 by p square dp by dx minus 2 by xp is equal to 1 by x square since it's a bernoulli equation so let's take z is equal to 1 by p this means that minus 1 by p is dz by dx is minus 1 by p square dp by dx so i can take minus multiply the equation by minus on both the sides and i will get dz by dx plus 2 by xp is minus 1 by x square which is a linear differential equation in z so here mu is equal to e raised to the power integration 2 by x dx which is e raised to the power 2 log x that gives you x square it means the solution is z times x square integration of x square and minus 1 by x square which is q of x dx plus c so my z is 1 by x square minus x plus c or i can call it c1 because it is a second order differential equation i will get two constants this implies that z is actually 1 by p so 1 by p is minus x plus c1 by x square or you can say that p is equal to x square minus x plus c1 
and p is dy by dx so if i use the variable separable then my dy is x square minus x plus c1 dx plus c2 yes to solve it further i need to take minus x plus c1 as t then it is very easily solvable so that gives me minus dx is equal to dt and that gives a minus sign so my y is equal to this is integration so my y is equal to integration minus sign would come c1 minus t whole square by t dt plus c2 so this is easily integrable because this is integration of c1 square plus t square minus 2 c1 t by t dt plus c2 and that becomes minus c1 square 1 by t is log t then it's only 2 so minus t square by 2 then it is t t would cancel out minus 2 c1 and minus is there so plus 2 c1 t plus c2 where t is minus x plus c1 so that gives us the required answer yes we can quickly try to solve one more question which says that y double dash is equal to y dash e raised to the power y where y of 0 is equal to 0 and y dash 0 is equal to 2 so y of 0 is equal to 0 it means that when x is 0 y is 0 and when x is 0 y dash is 2 now you can see that independent variable is missing so therefore you take y dash is equal to p and y double dash is equal to p dp by dy if you substitute the values you will have p dp by dy is equal to p e raised to the power y now using the variable separable you will have dp is equal to e raised to the power dy and you integrate both the sides that gives you p which is dv by dx is equal to e raised to the power y plus c1 yes since we have the values we have the conditions y of 0 is equal to 0 and y dash 0 is equal to 2 we can try to compute the values of the constant so y of 0 is equal to 0 y dash 0 is equal to 2 implies dy by dx is 2 and at x is equal to 0 y is 0 so this is e raised to the power 0 plus c1 that gives you c1 is equal to 1 so my y dash is 1 plus e raised to the power y using variable separable again dy by e raised to power y plus 1 is equal to dx now to solve it further to integrate the left hand side I multiply and divide by e raised to the power minus y so e raised to the power minus y divided by 1 plus e raised to the power minus y and you integrate it so to solve it let's assume e raised to the power minus y is equal to z that gives you dz is equal to minus e raised to the power minus y dy and now the solution is quite easy this is minus dz 1 plus z is equal to x plus c2 so integration of 1 plus uh, 1 by 1 plus z is minus sign is there log 1 plus e raised to the power minus y is x plus c2 yes again y of 0 is equal to 0 this means that minus low 1 plus e raised to the power 0 and x is 0 so this is c2 that gives you c2 is equal to minus low now you substitute the values of c2 into the required equation and that gives you the required answer so minus low 1 plus e raised to the power minus y is x minus log 2 and you can simplify it further 
So in the first order differential equation, this is what we have studied. So variable separable form, equation reducible to variable separable. Then homogeneous and equation reducible to homogeneous, exact. And then the concept of integrating factor to make the differential equation exact. Linear differential equation, Bernoulli equation which can be reduced to linear differential equation and finally the deduction of order where you reduce the second order differential equation into first order differential equation when dependent or independent variable is missing. So that's all from first order differential equations. In the next class we will start second order differential equation. Thank you very much.